Hi guys, this is Aditya from Lighthaven. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions recently about solo practice um, and the essentials for solo practice. Now you could have got to this point from a bunch of, uh, of, of different routes, but essentially the, what the questions have been boiling down to uh, are there any drills that I recommend as a higher priority than other drills or sometimes um, people are just really burnt out. Um, they're not being able to process new information, they're not being able to learn new skills. Um, are there any drills that they can fall back on where they can still just work on their basics while their body assimilates the new information that they've been given? Um, for me, I want to, uh, I like to think of my solo practice as um, being structured around three basic things. One is footwork, um, number two is striking patterns, and number three is principles. If you can have all three of these things in your practice, I think that's a pretty well-rounded uh, well practice. You can add a couple of more variables to this, but I think that at least these three things need to be there for you to uh, have a well-rounded practice. For footwork, I'm gonna fall back on, on my old favorite, which is your, which is your ranging footwork. Um, simple 45 degrees to the front, 45 degrees to the front, 45 degrees to the back, 45 degrees to the back, side and side. The other footwork drill that, um, that I really also like is a diamond footwork. So that's 45 degrees to any one side, 45 degrees again to the front, 45 degrees to the back, 45 degrees to the back again, and making that diamond shape. Um, I'm gonna base at least all today's drills, the striking patterns and the principles um, on these two footwork patterns. You can, um, you can replace them. Uh, or you can alternate them, that's really up to you how you want to do it. There is a footwork pattern which combines your ranging footwork and your diamond footwork, but all of this requires a whole other video. So if you know it, do it that way, otherwise you can choose either ranging footwork or diamond footwork. I've chosen double sticks because um, there's a lot going on when you're working double sticks. You're working your basic angle, but you're also working both hands, which translates really well to whether you're fighting with your left hand, whether you're fighting with your right hand, uh, if you're going single stick or single knife, what is the other hand doing? Um, it works your coordination, works your timing. Double stick just gives me a lot more bang for my buck. The two drills I'm going to choose um, for double stick are just my simple angle one, angle two, angle one, angle two on each hand, and my guillanting or my scissors. I feel there's so many different variations um, and they're so versatile as patterns that again you can get just so much out of these patterns. So for example, let's take the, the angle one, angle two. I'm gonna do it with my ranging footwork first. I can do simple, angle one, angle two, angle one, angle two, back to right hand, then left hand. Or I can change it up, where I can go low, I can reverse, come back, I can mix it up. I can really play around with the patterns that I'm using or I'm going to use with uh, with 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 the angle one, angle two, or the simple two strikes with one hand, two strikes with the other hand. I can choose different levels, so I can hit high, hit low, hit medium, reverse the strike. There's a lot that I can do within that. Same thing in my diamond footwork. You want to change directions, you want to change how high you're hitting, the kind of angles that you're using, this pattern of one stick following the other stick can give you uh, many different options to play with, which is why I really think that it is, if you had nothing else, if you could choose nothing else and you chose just this drill, there's a lot that you can do, a lot of stuff you can get out of just this these motions with one stick following the other stick. That's the basic principle that they're using from here, where one, one weapon is following the other weapon. The other drill I would choose is your scissoring drill. And the reason why I'm choosing my, your scissoring drill, again, it has um, so many, so many different uh, variations and it's very versatile. But the concept, the concept that I like in the scissoring drill is of immediate, immediate um, entry, immediate counter-attacking. So if I stick angle one stick coming me from here, I'm stopping the stick with my right hand, I'm smashing the hand with my left hand. 
same way same way now there's an angle two coming from there or another angle one coming from there i'm stopping the stick with this smashing the hand with that so if nothing else it gives you that basic combat application but from here you can also start doing things like one becomes more of an umbrella shape and one becomes a striking shape the other way also works with this where you're using this umbrella and i can be cutting here so i can be doing things like one two where this hand is the umbrella this hand is cutting down this hand is the umbrella and the other hand is cutting down again i can do it with my ranging footwork i can do it with my diamond footwork so if i'm just doing it with my ranging footwork you can choose which hand you want on top Diamond footwork. Once you are comfortable with the basic drill mechanics, that you can just that you can do the drill in whichever variation or form that you choose to do it in. Uh, you can do the drill in a nice fluid way without stopping too much. Um, your 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 footwork is on point. The sticks are on point. Then is when you can start adding the principal aspect of this into place. Um, we're going to take a really simple example of uh, the principle of timing. So, really simply put, I want to hit as I step out and hit as I come back in. I want to hit as I step out, hit as I come back in. As I step, out, I'm going to hit. As I come back, I hit. So now I'm no longer just doing the footwork and swinging my sticks uh, mindlessly. Now I'm thinking about the timing, at, the timing of my strikes in relation to my to my feet, um, the timing of my strikes in relation to um, covering distance, filling space, and vacating space. Let's take the principle of center line. Right? Um, center line. I'm going to imagine a line running through the center, through my center, and back uh, behind me. My ranging footwork is all designed to get me off center line. My diamond footwork is designed to get me off center line and get me back onto center line again. The tip of that diamond is also where my target is, right? It's where all attacks generate from. There are attacks towards me generate from, and it's where all my attacks are um, uh, are targeted towards. So, if I'm doing my diamond footwork. And I'm doing, let's say, my scissoring, but I'm going to use a, do it in an umbrella format, right? I'm going to imagine as the strike is coming, I'm stepping off line. Maybe that angle one is coming. I'm stepping off line with an umbrella like this, and I'm cutting that hand. Now I'm going to step towards him, attack. And now maybe another attack is coming. I'm stepping off line again, using that umbrella, cutting that hand, stepping back with another scissoring cut. There are a ton of other uh, solo drills that you can do. We, in fact, released almost an hour and a half of content um, based around solo drills that you can do for practicing at home. Um, I'm going to link uh, the playlist down below, and it's going to be at the end of this video. If you want to see more drills like this, you can always go and check that out. Again, for me, any holistic sort of practice, solo practice, should have footwork, should have striking patterns, and should have some sort of principles that you're trying to work on. You can add more stuff to this, but at least these three things need to be there. Unless you can be good at your angles, unless you put in the hours um, working on your angles, working on your footwork, you are not going to be able to add any more principles into that. So, Filipino martial arts is all about stacking. A lot of the people who asked me these questions were more intermediate to advanced level practitioners who had already put in the hours with their basics. Um, if you haven't, then that's what I would first do. First, just practice your basics. First, get good at the movements. Um, but eventually, you're going to get to a point where you're not really getting so much out of just doing the movements on their on their own. You're not you're not getting that much out of it anymore because your movements are on point, your patterns are on point, the coordination is there. So that's when you start to add in these principles that will just help you elevate your practice to the next level. 
as usual guys thank you for watching if you liked what you saw if you learned from what you saw please do like subscribe and share it does help out the school and the channel a lot um, and see you in the next video